Alright, we're going to start off in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we just thank you, Lord God, for forgive us for all our sins and our righteousness. Yes, Lord. Lord God, anything that we did that's not pleasing in your eyesight, God, I ask that you wash us, oh God, and cleanse us with your precious blood and make us whiter than snow. Then, Father God, I ask, Lord God, that you come on in the room on today, oh God. Lord, I pray, Lord God, that I decrease, Lord God, as you increase in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. I pray that your words be spoken and not mine, Lord God. However direction you want the service to go in, whatever you want me to say, however you want me to do it, Lord God, I give it over to you in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. I pray for everybody that is here on today, Lord God, everybody that wanted to be present but could not, Lord God. We pray for the sick and the shut in right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. We pray for those who are still at work and on their way, Lord God. We just thank you and praise you, Lord God. For everything that you have been doing in our lives, Lord God, we just ask that you bless us and keep us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. I was telling Brother Young, I'm like, this is kind of like a part two to his lesson. Because when he told me what his lesson was a couple of weeks ago, don't forget the benefits. I was like, okay, that's kind of what the Lord gave me. So we're going to do a part two time to start a little bit. Amen. <laughs> but God gave Lord. me what's available to you on this side. And this side means on the Lord's side. Amen. Amen. So we're going to talk a little bit about the blessings. We I got a, a few pointers that we're going to talk about. We're going to start about the sort with the blessings. Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 13. Page 248. And it says, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I have commanded thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth. Okay, and let me go back. Um, so what's available to us on this side, number one, is blessings. So that's what we're going into. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So he's letting us know if we hearken, if we listen, if we be attentive to his word and what he's trying to tell us, then he said these all these blessings. He didn't say one blessing. He didn't say two blessings. He said all these blessings will overtake us. Amen. All we got to do is hearken to the voice of the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. He say, blessed shall we be in the north. Bless, bring it closer to the home. Blessed shall we be on the north side. Blessed shall we be on the east side. Blessed shall we be on the west side. People say the north side is the post side, but guess what? We're going to be blessed in the north. <laughs> he say in the city, in the field, everywhere. And now he said, in, blessed in, um, in the field, okay? Blessed shall the fruit of thy body. And the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, and the increase of thy kin, and the flocks of thy sheep. He's, he didn't leave nothing out. Amen. He said, hearken unto my word, and your body going to be blessed. <laughs> that means to me, that's health. That's strength. You gonna, the fruit of your body, you're going to have some health. Amen. Let's show your Praise body be. He said, the fruit of your ground, everything you walk upon, your house, your, the area that you're living in, blessed. Amen. Your cattle. We don't have cattle, we, we got cars. You know? So let us our vehicles be. Yes. That I can, our family members, brothers, sisters, cousins, uncles, okay. flocks, and, and sheep. He said, Bless shall we be. Yes. Bless shall be thy baskets and thy store. Amen. So our food going to continue to run over. Continue to run over. Continue to run over. Some of y'all know what he's talking about. Sometimes them AFDC or FDC can be a blessing. Mm -hmm. You see that government pouring it in, pouring it in. That's not the only way he's going to bless you, but I'm just putting it out there. Amen. He say, bless, bless you, you be. Baskets running over. People got so much food stamps, they don't know what to do with them. Amen. <laughs> he said, bless shall, shall thou be when thou comest in, and bless shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thy enemies to rise up against thee, to smite thee before thy face. 
they shall come out against thee one way and flee before these seven ways. So he said, you walking into my word, this how much I'm going to bless you when your enemies come against you. They're going to come from the north, south, the east, and the west. Guess what? And I'm going to cause them to flee. All you got to do is hearken into my hearken into my voice, hearken into my word. Amen. Say the Lord thy God and Thank you, Lord. bless. Come on. I, see, I, I don't want my enemies coming up against me. I don't want my enemies to defeat me. Let me put it like that. So all we got to do is listen to the verse, listen to that voice. Listen Amen. to that verse. Thank you, Jesus. The, okay, we read that. We in eight. The Lord shall command, shall command the blessings upon thee in the storehouses, and all that thy hast set it to thy hand unto. And he shall bless thee in the land in which the Lord had given thee. So he's letting us know. Whatever he's, the Bible says, whatever you find in your hand to do, do it. So he's letting you know that you're going to be blessed. If you're good at crafting, if you're good at building, if you're good at construction, and Brother God is a prime example. He came to Bowman, how much work you had? <laughs> None at all. Just a little bit. So he said, blessed because you was hearkening to the voice of the Lord, and what, what you got now? I'm overflooded. Overflowed with work. <laughs> Prime example. He said, what you God. find your hands to do, I'm a bless. More work than he ever thought he can have. Amen. Uh, oh, excuse me. Deuteronomy 28. And I'm on in verse 9. Right? Verse 8. 28. Yes. 28 verse 8. Thank you. On into 9. Okay. Mm -hmm. The Lord, you're welcome. The Lord shall establish thee and holy people unto himself. And he has sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep his commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in his ways. And all the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. So this letting us know if we hearken unto his voice, this is a blessing. That he said, people going to know that you are called. And they're going to be afraid of you. Not like a godly, but it's like a reverence. They're going to reverence and respect you because they know that you're called. But that's because you're hearkening into the voice of the Lord. This don't come by way of disobedience. This come by way of obedience. It's a good thing. We don't have to brag and boast on who we are in Christ. Your light going to shine. Amen. And he say, he, he going to let them know. So it's a blessing. Amen. And the people of the earth shall see see that thou art called. I just read that. Sorry about that. But I just I'm I'm reading it again. But I I'm I'm glad I read it again because it's just so wonderful. He said, "And the people of the Amen. earth don't Amen. see. Amen. They gonna see. They gonna know. You don't have to tell them I'm called. They gonna know. Amen. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods." And the fruit of thy body, the fruit of thy cattle, and the fruit of thy ground, and the land which thou hast swear, he hath sweared unto thy fathers to give unto thee. The Lord shall open unto thee his good, good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto the land of his season, and to bless the work of thy hand, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. That sounds like something I want to have. He said he's going to open his good treasure. Mm -hmm. So that means he got something stored up in that box. You know how we keep our good jewelry for when it's time to go out on that day? Amen. Good, our good little watches for the men, you know, our good, good little cologne. And then we like our little precious pearls and everything. But how much more? Mm. It, God. God said his good treasure. My God. His good treasure is for us. Amen. He said he's going to open it out. Oh, yes, yes. To give us rain, that means he's going to rain upon us in the season and bless the work of our hands that we just talked all about. all the work of our hands. You know, Make I, it plain. I, I, all the work. Amen. amen. I heard this once, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, and it's just a, a little parable, I guess, you know, and a man was uh, walking in, uh, in a, uh, a airplane hangar, and he seen a bunch of stuff piled up in one side, you know, and, uh, you know, he asked, he said, what's all that stuff right there? And you know, the guy says, you know, that's what God has given you. And then he looked on the other side, and there was a bigger pile there, right? And he said, well, what about that pile? He says, that's what you would have had if you had always been with me. 
Come on, come on, come on. Look, I'm, I'm, I want what I would would have had, so I'm gonna go ahead and do what I need to do so I can have. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes, and he oh, said that yes, thou shalt lend unto nations and thou shalt not borrow. So I'm claiming in the name of Jesus Amen. that we're going to hearken into his voice so we can lend and not borrow. And when we lend, we ain't going to be looking for no payment in return. Yeah. Like you took the $10 you owe me. Can I get that? No. Yeah. Since I'm going to pay you that $10, oh, baby, don't worry about it. Pay me when you can. Oh, I'm going to pay you that 1000 Oh, don't need it. You know where you can have it. Come on. Amen. He's able. Amen. He's able. Amen. All we got to do is hearken into his voice. Amen. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. He shall make thee above and thou shall not be beneath. If thy hearken into the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe and to do them. Amen. So we want to be the head. We tired of being the tail. We want to be above and we tired of being beneath. The word of God is telling us exactly what we have to do. Amen. Parking. So I think I'm going to stay on this side. Oh, yes, I want what's available to me on the Lord's side. Amen. Next we have abundant life. Abundant life is available to us. John 10 and 10. Abundant means existing or available in large quantities or plentiful. So, I want life that's available to me in large quantities. <laughs> I want to live an abundant life. Amen. So, I'm going to stick on this side. So, let's find out what he says about abundant life. Verse 10 reads, The thief coming not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. He said, I am come that ye might have life. And that and might have it more abundantly. So Jesus is telling us, He's letting us know the enemy, if you're on the other side, is come to steal you, yeah. kill you, and destroy you. But if you come over to this side, I the know. Lord's side, yes, my Lord. side, said the Lord, I'm gonna give you life. What he says, mm -hmm. that's available in large quantity. I'm gonna give you life that's plentiful. I'm going to give you above and above what you can imagine or you can think of. He said, but all you got to do is come unto me. Yes, Lord. He made it plain. He let you know that when you serve him, he's coming to take, rob, and steal everything that you got. That car that you're driving, guess what? You're not going to be driving in next week. Keep on fooling with the enemy. Repossession. He coming to steal everything, your joy, your peace, Fine. your long suffering, your goodness, your temperance, your meekness. He's coming to steal your health, everything. He's coming to take it from you. Fine. So we got to check what side we on. Amen. Because I want an abundant life. Yes. Matthew 6 and 33. And it says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, yes. and all these things shall be added unto you. And I know we heard this time and time again, but he's letting us know that if we want to have an abundant life, all we got to do is seek him first. Yes. Sometimes we're wondering why we don't have this, why we haven't started our businesses, or why we don't have the job that we have, why we're not getting the promotions, why we're not getting the raises, why our children not saved, because he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Amen. We be worried about the wrong thing. We be trying to figure it out on our own, but he said, all you got to do is seek me. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. And in layman terms, I got you. Mm -hmm. That's what he's telling us. Seek me first. Amen. My righteousness. Yes. Get up in this word and eat. Learn of me. Learn of how yes, I want you to Lord. live. Learn, learn about how I am and what I, what I did. Walk in my footsteps. And he said, all them things going to be added to you. Walk in my footsteps and you should have an abundant life. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Instructions, y'all. Got to follow them. Amen. Isaiah 58 and 11. And I thank God that his instructions aren't grievous. He's not Amen. instructing us. He's not one of them rude people who just want us to be obedient to him just because. 
He's calling us to obedience for our benefit. That's right. Not for his own. Amen. Not for his own. So I want to us available to me on his side. Yes, Lord. Isaiah 58 and 11. And it reads, 813, sorry about that. And the Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy and satisfy thy soul in drought and make fat thy bones and thou shall be like a water garden and like a spring of water who waters fail not hallelujah right. talking about abundant life Amen. abundant life yes lord he said my soul gonna be satisfied in the drought so everything around me gonna be dried up, but my soul gonna be satisfied. Oh, Hallelujah. Right, That's my abundant life. Thank you, he gonna make fat my bones so when everybody else don't have nothing to eat, they wonder around you why you walking around sick. Because he done fattened my bones. Amen. It's that abundant life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. What verse was on, y'all? And he said, and, and shall be like a water garden. We know when we water garden, out of garden, what do you do? Stuff start growing up. Yes. So he going to grow you up. Mm -hmm. You going to bring like a spring of water who waters fail not. Amen. Amen. Some God, springs, God, what they God. do, they dry up. Uh -huh. Some wells dry up, but he letting us know. He's giving us that abundant life that's never going to fail. Uh -huh. If we follow after God, if we follow after righteousness, if we obey him and do his commandments, it. it will never fail. Amen. Never fail. Hallelujah. First Corinthians 2 and 9. Hallelujah. Ooh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. 1240. <coughs> but it is written, I had not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God had prepared for them that love him. Talking about an abundant life. Amen. He letting us know that, baby, you haven't seen nothing yet. Amen. All you got to do is follow me, obey my words, obey my commandments, and you haven't seen nothing yet. Amen. You think they driving Rolls Royce. You think they driving Bugatti. He's going to bless us with something way more. Amen. Way more. Yes, Lord. He said, Need, your heart can't even think of the stuff that he got prepared. My you can't God. even imagine in your heart. You be probably thinking about, oh, I want a five-bedroom house. I want two stories. I want a big old pool. No, he's letting us know that ain't even it. That ain't even it. And all we have to do is obey his word so we can live this abundant life. Amen. Philippians 4, 19. Twelve eighty one. But my God shall supply all your needs yes. according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Yes. So he's letting us know we can have an abundant life. Yes. Because all your needs shall be met, like Pastor McCauley say, with heaven's best. Amen. He said according to his riches and glory. Mm -hmm. Not man's, not ours, but his riches and glory. Amen. Yes, so I, I want I want that abundant life, yes, God. Yes, Lord. Who help me to obey God all, at all, all times? Next, what's available to us on this side is some peace. My Ooh. God, my God. Hallelujah! Ooh, yes. Just the word, peace. Amen. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Come on. How many y'all know we need peace? Oh yeah. That Lord, enemy Lord, coming to destroy Lord. our mind. Look at everything that's going on around us, the chaos, the turmoil, the things that's going on in your job, in your marriage, in your home, with your kids. You're going to need some peace. Amen. So I'm going to choose this life on this side. Mm -hmm. right, God, Galatians this 5 and 22. Yes, yes, yes. Twelve seventy. 
But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such, there is no law. So he's letting us know that on this side, there is peace. That's one of the fruits of the Spirit. So we got to have it, and let's want it. Who don't want to be, who don't want to have peace? Isaiah 26 and 3. Seven eighty-two. It says, "Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusted in thee." So it's letting us know today that if we want some peace, all I gotta do is keep my mind on Jesus. Oh, I mean, I know we know the scripture. I know we re rehearsed it a thousand times, but He's making it plain. If you want a peace, all you got to do is keep your mind stayed on you. Hallelujah. Now, is that hard to do? He didn't tell us we got to go chop down some trees to get some peace. We ain't got to go scrub the floors. All we got to do is keep our mind stayed on you. If we don't know how to do it, get, let me show you how. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Yeah. You can't think of nothing else to begin to call on Jesus. Amen. And I guarantee you, you'll get some peace. Amen. Yes, Say it Lord. over and over in your mind. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Get you a song in your heart. One of your favorite gospel songs. Just begin to sing that song. How great is thy God. Sing with me how great. <laughs> yes. All you gotta do is sing Thank that song you. in your head. Get you some yeah. peace. Yes. Yeah, Start quoting them, them scriptures. You can quote that very scripture. Whose mind is stayed on me? Keep, start re rehearsing it in your head and see how fast that peace don't come. He didn't say, God. if whose mind stayed on me, I'll keep him in perfect peace in a little while, mm -hmm. in a couple of days. He said, keep your mind stayed on me, and I'm going to give you peace. It works just like that. Uh, Try, yeah. it. Try it. Yes. Try it. Try it. Try it. It works. works. Right. Work the word, and it'll work. Amen. You don't work it, it ain't going to work. Amen. It's going to be floating around waiting for somebody else to grab a hold to. Amen. Second Thessalonians 3 and 16. Thank God for my brother just walked in. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Three and sixteen. Twelve ninety-one. Now the Lord of peace himself. So we're saying the peace, the Lord of peace, give you peace always by all means. The Lord be with you all. So it's it's letting us know that the peace gonna give us peace. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. And so I want the peace. <laughs> Amen. So all we gotta do is go to God and, and get that peace. Amen. Thank our Lord and Savior. John 16 and 1173. These things have I spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace, and in the world ye have tribulation. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Amen. So Amen. this is Jesus talking, and he's letting us know that in that world, everything you're looking for, all them trials and tribulations, everything you're going through, they not, no. There is no peace. Amen. There is no peace in the world. Amen. He said, but in me oh, is peace. And he said, because I have overcome the world. Amen. Everything in it, everything that happened, every everything that we might be going through, everything that we face, he said, I didn't overcame it. Mm -hmm. So come rest in me. Because yes. it is your peace. Yes, you Lord. don't even got to worry about it. I didn't conquer it for you. Amen. Nah, I think I want to be on his side. If it's somebody telling me, hey, don't worry about it, I already did that for you. 
Like you at work. Oh, boo, you ain't gotta wash that. I already washed it. Oh, you ain't gotta sweep that floor. I didn't swept it. Oh, you ain't gotta room that patient out of the room. He said you don't have to worry about it because I didn't conquer it. All you gotta do is come to me and get you some pizza. Oh, bless his name. Hallelujah. Oh, I, think a, I think I'm gonna go with God. Amen. First Peter 3 and 11. It says, let him eschew evil and do good. Let him seek peace and ensue it. So he's letting us know on this side, seek peace yeah. and ensue it. So what does ensue mean? It means to strive to obtain it. So every day we gotta we gotta get our peace. Uh, okay. We gotta keep our peace. We, we got it ain't just gonna sit on our lap because he told us what we need to do. Amen. He said to keep our his our mind stayed on him. So we gotta follow after this peace, guys. We gotta get this peace. We gotta eschew evil. We got everything that's evil, everything that's not good, everything that's not like God. We gotta cast it down. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Jeremiah 29 and 11. Jeremiah 29 and 11. He says, for I know the thoughts that I have towards you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. So if the Lord is thinking peace for you, then, and he's already overcome the world, then why don't we just walk in? Amen. It's Amen. not hard. We just got to walk in that peace. He's already paved the way today, and all we got to do is walk in it. Not only is we going to get some peace on this side, but he said he's going to give us some joy on this side, too. My God. So I'm going to go get some joy. I'm going to go over to James and see what James have to say. James 1 and 2. Thirteen fifteen. It says, my brethren, Counting all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. So you mean to tell me when I'm falling into temptation, I got to have some joy on this side? Yes. Amen. We got to count it joy. I wonder why. I wonder why. So let's go and read a little farther. Let's go and read a little farther. It said, knowing this, that the trying of your faith, faith work in patience. So if I count it joy when I'm in temptation, yeah. you say the trying of my faith gonna give me some patience? Uh, so I didn't operate it in joy, then I didn't got another gift to go with it? Uh, yeah, we, we need yeah. to operate in joy. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna stay on this side. Amen. Let me just read a little farther. And it said, but let patience, because I done got me some patience after I done got me some joy. He said, but let patience have her perfect work, that we may be perfect and entire, one ain't nothing. Hallelujah. Romans 15 and 3. Twelve thirty-six. For even Christ pleased not himself. But it is written. Oh, okay. 15 and 13. But I, I like that. I'm going to mm -hmm. read that and see what that says. Yes. Even Christ pleased not himself, but it is written, the reproaches of them that reproached thee fell on me. So he said he wasn't even trying to please himself. He was trying to do the will of his father. Amen. So that's what we need to do mm -hmm. so that we can have some blessing, some abundant life, some peace, and some joy. Amen. No one even knows. Yeah, that was free. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So 15 and 13. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in, in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. So he's letting us know that God, gonna, he going to fill us with joy Amen. and power mm -hmm. of the Holy Ghost. And we got to have the Holy Ghost. Yes. Amen. We need the Holy Ghost. As a matter of fact, he sent the Holy Ghost for us. Amen. So through the 
Holy Ghost, that's where we going to get some joy. Yes, Lord. Got to speak to them. Speak to them. Holy Ghost, give me that joy. God, by God, by God. Come on, comforter. Comfort me. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Whew, y'all. I just love this one right here. It say, what's available to me on this side is some rest. Oh, y'all, and y'all know sometimes in this life we get a little bit tired. Amen. We get a little wound weary. We get a little distressed. But he said he got some rest for us. Yeah, Matthew 11, 28, and 30. Let me find out what this rest is. Ten seventy seven. Matthew 11, 28. Sorry about that. Yes. And it says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy, heavy laden, mm -hmm. and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and upon you, excuse me, and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest for your soul. Right. So he's letting us know if you tired, if you weary, he say, come unto me. Amen. All ye that laid in, all ye that's tired, I'm going to give you some rest. Yeah, he say, right. take upon my ways and learn of me. He say, for I'm meek and lowly in heart. Amen. And ye shall find rest for your soul. Right. Souls running around, running around in the world, don't can't find no peace, can't find no joy. Just don't, you know, there's something missing. Like you, you just have that void, that feeling in the inside that you know something is missing. Amen. And you don't have no peace. He said, "Come unto me." Mm -hmm. That's all you have to do is come unto Jesus, and He will give you rest. Yeah, I'm a living cool. witness. I'm not oh, telling you Jesus something that I just heard. This is the voice of the Lord. This is the Lord speaking. He's letting us know that you come to me and I'm going to give you some rest. That's all you got to do. Yeah. All you got to do is walk. All you got to do is come. Amen. All you got to do is come. He's not telling you to do nothing else but come. Come as you are. Mm. He didn't say, oh, I need you to do this. I need you to do that. I need you to do this. He said, just come. Amen. And I'm going to give you some sweet rest. And trust me, the rest that he's going to give you, baby, you ain't going to want to go back out in that world. Mm. You're not going to want to go back out there and do the no, things they used to no, do. No, no, You're not going to want to go in that nightclub no more. You're not going to want to go prostitute on that street. You're not going to want to smoke them drugs no more because Amen. the rest that he going to give you, Amen. one of them streets full of that dope, he say, come unto me. Yes, I'm going to give you some rest that you yes, never yes, had. I'm going to give you some peace that you yes. never had. I'm going to give you some joy that the crack yes. can't give you. Amen. He said, come unto me. Yes, All I want you to do, be like, touch the hem of my garment. Yes. Get yourself whole. Just come. Yes, Just come. Lord. Just come. That's what he's telling us right now. The Spirit is saying, Just come. Just come. My Just God, as you are. God, Just as you are. Just come. Yes. Come. Hallelujah. Yes, Just yes, come. Lord. Yes. I got some rest for you. Thank I got you. everything you need. Just come. Come. Hallelujah. Amen. Just come. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Ooh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Ooh, glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Did I read all that I needed to read? Oh, I'm resting now. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Thank you. Ooh. Ephesians 4, 22 through 24. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, hallelujah. Just tell me what page it's on, please. Ephesians 4. Thank you, Jesus. 4, 22 through 24. And it says that ye put off concerning the formal conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And that ye put on the new man 
which after God is created unto righteousness and true holiness. That sounds like rest to me. If I put off old conversation, yes. the things I used to say, don't say them no more. Amen. And you'll find rest. The things I used to do, the deceitful things, the error of my ways, I'm going to be renewed in my ah, mind. Jesus, I got to put that to the side and be renewed in my mind, not just in my mind, but in my spirit. Yes, and, Lord. and there you will find rest. Ah, Hallelujah. He said, and put on a new man. Yes, which is after God created unto righteousness and true holiness. When you put on that true holiness, there's a rest. There's rest in the bosom of Jesus. True holiness. Amen. That true holiness is not going to allow you to go back. Amen. You're going to be sleep so good in the arms of Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't you go never going to wake yeah. up. <laughs> hey, I don't want to go back. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Isaiah 4, no, excuse me, Isaiah 40, 30 through 31. Hallelujah. Uh, 797. And it says, Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew Amen. their strength. Amen. They shall mount Amen. up yes. with wings as eagles, and they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. That sounds like some rest to me. Amen. I love that he said, well, mount up as wings as eagles. Y'all think those eagles' wings are, you know, they think, y'all think they weak? Mm-hmm. No. Them eagles get up in that sky and they get the flapping and he said, you're going to mount up as wings as eagles. You're going to renew your strength. How are you going to renew some strength if you don't have no rest? So that's what he's letting us know. Rest in me and I'm going to renew your strength. So you're going to run and you're not going to get tired. Come on now, go and get you some rest. So you can take off running and keep on running. And keep on running. What's that song? I'm running for Jesus, running Amen. for Jesus, and I ain't got tired yet. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to run and not get tired, huh? Amen. Hey! Hallelujah! Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on. Come on, get you some rest. Amen. He said, not only would I give you some rest, but I'll give you some prosperity, too. I Y'all know we be begging God for money. Yeah. But guess what? He say, I got it. All you got to do is come on this side. Now, you can't come on over on this side and say, give me some money, God, and then go on back over. No. That's not how it works. You're going to be on this side, stay on this side. So you can have you some prosperity. Third John 1 and 2. It says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper right. and be in good health, even as thy soul prosper. So you mean on this side, he wants me to prosper? Amen. And not only do he want me to prosper, but he want my health to prosper? Not only do he want my health to prosper, he want my soul to prosper? My God, my God. Yes. I think I'm going to stay with Jesus. Amen. 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 Deuteronomy 8 and 18. Thank you. It says, But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is peace that giveth thee power to give wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swear unto thy fathers, as it is this day. Amen. So he's letting us know he, he made that covenant with our fathers. He said, but as it's going to be 
this day. Everybody. But you got to remember that he is the one that gives us power to get well. It's not man. It's not our jobs. It's not, oh, I'm waiting on my boss to give me a raise. Oh, I'm waiting on this. Oh, I'm waiting on financial assistance. He said he gives us power. Amen. To Amen. Praise the Lord. He said, but you got to remember. We got to think on those things. We got to remember. Okay, go ahead. If it's you that gives us powers to get well, let me quote your word back to you. Lord, you said that you give us power to, to get well. So, Lord, get, teach me. Give me what it is that you want me to, to have to get this well. Right. I'm speaking your word, and your word is it's not going to come back void. Amen. Speak it to him. And, but you got to remember also, though, that God don't work in our timing. You Amen. said, guess Amen. what? It's going to come to pass. Amen. You just got to wait on it. Wait, we just talked, we just read that they wait on the Lord shall renew that strength. So you got to wait. Don't Amen. get weary. Don't get weary. That's why we got that rest, so you won't get weary. Amen. You're going to get it. But you got you to gotta speak his word. You got to believe it. Yeah. And you shall receive it. Psalms 128 and 2. Seventeen. For thou shalt eat the labor of thy hands. Happy shall thou be, and it shall be well with thee. So he's letting us know you're going to eat the labor of your hands. Amen. And you're going to be happy. You're going to be satisfied. Amen. You're going to be full. Yeah. All you got to do is stay on this side. What side is that? The Lord's, Lord's side. side. Psalm 23. And it says that he shall be like the tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. All right, come. We're talking about prosperity. All we got to do is stay on this side. Amen. All we got to do is stay on this side. Not only would he give us prosperity, guys, but he's going to give us some power. My God, my God. Now, I'm going to find out about that because we need power in this Amen. lifetime. Amen. Good benefits. Good benefits. 2 Timothy 1 and 7. says 1292. Oh, I'm sorry, that's first Timothy. Uh, 1296. But God had not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of a love and of a sound mind. I so we're gonna get some power. Amen. Where that power come? It says from G. He said God had not given us, so He's letting us know He's He's already given us something when we walked on this side. He uh, said, but it wasn't a fear. Mm -hmm. He said, but a power my God, my and a God. love and a sound mind. Yeah, so when we walked on this I side with Jesus, our mind is sound. Why? Because we just learned. Because we gonna keep our mind stayed on Him. Amen. Acts one and eight. Eleven eighty. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witness unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and the other most parts of the earth. So he's letting us know you're gonna get some power. You're gonna have some power on this side Amen. after that you have received the Holy Ghost. Yeah. So yes. Thank you, Lord. we also we we know now that we gotta receive the Holy Ghost so we can have some power. Amen. On this side yes, with Lord. Jesus. 
See those men, the government and all these different city officials and all that, they think they have power. They think they have rules. They think they have some authority over us. But there's no power like Jesus. No power like hey, the power man. we have in Jesus. No power. There ain't nothing like it. Nothing like it. Thank you, Lord. He, we just read, he gives us the power to give up. Amen. Some folks don't know nothing about this. Jesus. We got to get in this word, y'all. Luke 10 and 19. Eleven twenty three. Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon the serpents and the scorpion. Yes, Lord. And over the power, I'm, I'm, excuse me, and all the power over the enemy, all the power of over the enemy, and nothing shall by, by any means hurt you. Amen. So he's letting us know if we on his side that he gonna give us some power to tread upon the. Satan, my God, the serpent. My God. He said all you got to do is come on this side, and when the enemy trying to beat you up over your head, when the enemy is trying to defeat you, remember I gave you some power. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, so you you going to tread upon his head. Amen. He think he's doing something, all you got to do is come on. Get thee behind me, Satan. I mean, get up under my feet. Amen. Where you belong. Mm -hmm. Where you belong. In the name of Jesus. In the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. And by the blood of the Lamb of God. Yes, Lord. He said, and over some of the powers of the enemy. Uh, he said, all oh, of the powers. Yeah. He, he ain't got nothing yeah. left. Nothing left. That lying devil, he's lying to me. Lying to you. See, he's quick. He's cunning. He's crafty. But yeah. guess what? He said he just gave us power over everything that the enemy tried to do. Every God, witchcraft, God. every lie, every deceitful, every demonic demon, God, he gave Jesus, us power God, over. Jesus, Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And he said that nothing by any means shall hurt you. Amen. So we ain't gonna worry about they think they putting voodoo on you. He said it ain't gonna hurt you. Amen. It ain't gonna touch you. They wanna come up against you. They want to try to take your job. It ain't going to touch you. Amen. It ain't going to hurt you. Guess what? Money going to start coming in the mail. Somebody going to start pouring into you. Right. Because he said power over everything that Amen. the enemy has. Amen. Hallelujah. And this, we need to know this. We need to know this. When the enemy come and try to defeat us, when we feeling defeated, we got to remember that he's giving us power. Amen. My God, my God. Ephesians 6 and 10. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. All we got to do is be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Yeah, so Lord. we got the almighty God's power. I think we got some. Amen. Yes. It's a good Hold side to be on. Good side. Great side. Isaiah 41 and 10. Seven ninety-seven. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. All right. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Amen. That sounds like some power to me. Amen. But he's letting you know that even when you might be feeling weak, he said, be thou dismayed. Mm -hmm. For I, the Lord your God, will strengthen you. Amen. Amen. That means he's going to give us some power. Amen. Not only will he give us some power, but he's going to give us some Healing. How many of y'all sick in y'all bodies right now? Or, or feeling something or might have been sick? Amen. Or know somebody that's sick? Amen. That's healing on this side. My God, my God, my God. You just got to work the word. First Peter 2 and 24.
13 and 22. He says, who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree. Amen. That we, being dead to sin, now we got to be dead to sin. Y'all got to catch this. Amen. Should live unto righteousness by whose stripes we were healed. Amen. Now see, y'all y'all gotta y'all gotta do something. Y'all gotta be dead. We got we Amen. gotta Amen. be dead to sin. Yeah, we can't be Lord. living any kind of way and Lord Oh my throat been bothering me, but you just left the club screaming and howling. What you think gonna happen? No, you gotta be dead to <laughs> sin. And then, my God, my by his, God. that's what he's healed for, our strife, but you got to be dead to that sin. Amen. Because he didn't already, what? He said he bared a witness. He already died. He already paid the price for us. Amen. All we got to do is receive our healing. But we got to be in position. Amen. We got to position ourselves just like he did. Position himself on the cross to take on my our sin. Jesus, so let's position Jesus. ourselves, take up our cross daily, follow him, and get our healing. Amen. Praise the Lord. My God, my God. James 5 and 16. 13, 19. He says, confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual, very prayer of the righteous man availing much. So all he, you telling me all I gotta do is confess my faults one to another Ooh, and pray one for another so I can be healed? So I'm gonna give y'all a prime example to my sister. I'm not even gonna lie. I was talking about you behind your back. But you know what? Let's pray right now. I'm asking you to forgive me. Let's go and pray that prayer. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, first of all, I'm just asking you to forgive me of my sins. Forgive me of what I did to my sister. Lord, just ask, ask us, help us to walk in love. Help us to walk in your ways and your statutes and do what's right unto you. And I was walking like this, and then all of a sudden I'm praying that prayer, and then all of a sudden, Amen. I'm walking right. Because the word said, Amen. Amen. I didn't got and you knew it was going to happen because the word said so. Amen. So work the word and guess what? The word don't work. Amen. How many times? Praise the Lord. All, All the time. time. All and if the you time. feel like it ain't working, guess go back and work it some more. Amen. Amen. Put some more on it. God might want you to do just a little. He might want you to spend just a little extra time with him. He might want you to pray just a little bit more. Amen. He might want you to go to the next sister that you offended or the next brother that you offended and get it right. Amen. Because there's no fault or no failure in our God. My God, my God. Psalms 147 and 3. Seven seventeen, and it says, "He healeth the broken in heart and binded up their wounds." So he said, "That's no, not only he's gonna heal our bodies, he's gonna heal our broken hearts." And after he healed my broken heart, he's gonna bind up my wounds. Right. Hallelujah! <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Ooh, yes, what's available to me on this side? Not only was I in distress, not only was I crying and and just stressed out and didn't know where my help was coming from. Not only was my heart aching, but my body was aching too. But he came on up and he healed that broken heart. And he fixed my body as well. Amen. Hallelujah to a mighty God. My Hallelujah to a mighty God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. He said he healed all our diseases. Woo! Crown thee with love and kindness Amen. and tender mercy. And he satisfied our mouth with good things. Yeah. So that our youth is renewed as the eagle. Come on and bless the Lord today. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Mighty God. Woo. 
Hallelujah. Mighty God. Mighty God. Matthew 10 and 1. Hallelujah. Ooh, he going to do all that for me? Amen. And all I got to do is be on his side? All I got to do is hearken into his voice? Right, Hallelujah. All I got to do is surrender? All I got to do is come into him? And I can have all these things? Blessings and abundant life. I can have some peace, some joy, some rest, some money, By some Jesus. power, and I can be healed. By Jesus. And that's God. not even it. We're just touching on some such. Ooh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Me either. 10 and 1 says, And when he called unto him his 12 disciples, he gave them power against the unclean spirit. To cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of diseases. So guess what? The same power that he gave them, he's given us too. Amen. To heal all manner of diseases. He didn't say you're just going to be able to heal the blinded eyes. He said, diabetes, go! Amen. Because I've given you the power. Yeah. Talk to all timers. Go! Yes. In the name of Jesus, because he's given us the power. Yes. Talk to dementia. Go in the name of Jesus because he's giving us the power. Amen. Talk to that body, those wounds, those ribs. You got to go Amen. because he's giving us the power. Yeah. All manner of sickness. Amen. My, Jesus, my, my feet hurting. God, he's giving us power. Amen. Go. Arthritis, go yes, Lord. in the name of Jesus. Amen. All manner. All manner. All we got to do, he Amen. said he get, he's giving them power. Amen. Corona go. Against Corona go. Yes. All the unclean spirits, them demons Amen. that's walking around in people, they got to go. Amen. We got to lay hands. We got to command these things to flee. Amen. Because he's giving us the power. Oh, and we got to operate him. And then closing, we're going to go to Psalms 34 and 8. Y'all got to excuse me on this one. It says, oh, taste and see. Hey, I got to put some power on that thing. Because it said, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. He said, come on. Come on on this side and taste and see. Because I guarantee you, once you taste, you going to see that I am good. Amen. And once you see that I am good, you're going to do what I Amen. say to you. You're going to obey my commandments, and guess what you're going to have? You're going to have an abundant life. Yes, Lord. You're going to have blessings on top of blessings Amen. on top of blessings. Woo! A peace that surpasses all understanding. Yes, the Lord. peace that I give you, you're not going to be able to comprehend. Were you able to comprehend what you felt? Because I can't even comprehend it. Amen. He said joy. Joy. Joy unspeakable joy. Yes, Lord. Who? Rest. He said rest for your soul. Yes, Lord. Prosperity. Your cup shall run it over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. Yes, Lord. Power. Hallelujah. Over all the works of this flesh. Amen. Power. And he's going to heal you in the name of Jesus and by the precious blood of the Lord. Yes, Lord. We got one more scripture, Malachi 3, 10 and 12. Ooh, hallelujah, Jesus. It says, Thy build up Zion with blood and Jerusalem with iniquity. The head, hold on. Thank you, Kim. 
It says, bring ye all the tithes into thy storehouse, that there may be meat in my house. And prove me now wherewith, said the Lord of hosts. And I'm going to read it again. He said, and prove me now. He said, come on this side and prove me now. Amen. Prove me now herewith, said the Lord of hosts. If I will not open you. He said, open you. you my God, you, my God, you, my God, my God. You that bring those tithes to the storehouse. He says, and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive. Amen. He said, and not only will I do that, but I'm going to rebuke the devourer, devourer for your sakes. Amen. So I'm going to rebuke the enemy for your sakes. My Jesus, my Jesus. And he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Neither shall your vines cast her fruit before thine time in the field, said the Lord of hosts. And he said, all the nations shall call you blessed. Thank you, Lord. For ye shall be a delightsome land, said the Jesus. Lord of hosts. All we, if we want some healing, some prosperity, whatever we need, pay them tithes. He said, so into it. Yes. We be complaining about that little 10%. But I'm going to get all in. He's going to rebuke the devourer for my sake. So when the famine come in the land, when the drought come upon the land, when the great depression to come, he said he's going to rebuke it. Amen. And my family going to walk in My God, my God, my God. But yet we complain about a 10%. He said the nation's going to know we blessed and all I got to do is give us. What a God. Lord, help us to do your will. Yes, Help Lord. us to do it without murmuring and yes. complaining, God. Help us to seek ye first the kingdom of God and your righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. God, help us to be hearers of your word and doers, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Help us to walk after your ways. Take hold of your statutes. Do what does says the Lord at all times, oh God. Help us to follow peace, oh God. Help us to shoot evil, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Help us to bless those that curse us and do good to those who abuse us, Lord God, and abuse us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to crucify our flesh daily, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Operate in the fruits of the Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Help us to Lord. call on your name, oh God, when we are weak. Help us to know where our strength come from. Help us to know where our help come from in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. God. Help us today, God. We need you, God. Let us recognize that we can do nothing without you. And we can do all things with you. Help Thank us to you, walk Jesus. in perfection, oh God. Yes, Lord. Help us to obey you, God. At yes, all. Lord. Right now, Lord. Listen into your voice. Yes. Help our spiritual eyes. Take the covers off our eyes, oh God. Our spiritual ears. Get the wax out of our ears, oh God. And hear what thus says the Lord on today. Hallelujah, Jesus. Help us, God, in Jesus' mighty name. And by the precious blood of the Lamb of God. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. We're not out of time. We're run. We, we ran out of time. We had a word. Oh, bless God. Who signed you all? I'm on the Lord's side.